All right, hello, everybody. Um, this is Daniel Friedlander from Lithcast.com, and today uh, it's not a Nintendo-related product at all, but uh, it's technology nonetheless. And what it is is, well, it's an Apple TV. And I was, and I put in a pre-order, and I just got mine today, one day earlier than expected. And so right, you know, right now I'd like to take this opportunity to unbox this for you, because um, we have the capacity to do this in high def. So uh, hope you didn't see anything on that packing slip. We have the capacity to do this in high def, so why not? So, anyways, uh, comes a pretty standard uh, brown box. And uh, as you can see, there's these little guards around it. Just, just take those off. And here, you can see we have the Apple TV. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunderstorm outside, but uh, yeah, there, there's a bolt of lightning just happened right there. Kind of a rare thing for San Diego to get a thunderstorm. Let me just take the uh, shrink wrap off of this, this off of this, uh, this, this puppy. All right, good. I'll let you take a look at this now that it's a little, uh, a little less shiny. Looks like this. The back uh, looks a little something like that. It's like an iPod. Okay, doesn't say that, but anyways. So if any of you guys have ever opened an Apple product before, I'm sure you know it's sometimes kind of weird to, f to find the. Which uh, you open it, so. Uh, but I will just give you a hint for those of you who will be unboxing your yours later. You that you just you just slide it off like that. So designed by Apple in California. It's red. My neck of the woods. Even though I will tell you that when I was tracking my package via FedEx.com, that it was shipping from China and uh, that would be probably because the uh, you know uh, you know anyways so as you can see so here it is uh, it sort of looks like a little binder and let's see if I can zoom out I'll show you just a tad well I guess not anyways so let's let's open her up let's open her up and there that's what that's what it looks like I'm sort of annoyed though actually how this remote I mean I don't know I haven't tried it yet but it's the exact same thing as the the uh, other Mac remote, but anyway, I mean, sorry, is the remote for the front row on the Macs. And um, let's see if I can pull this out here. Let's see how heavy this is. I'm curious to know. It's pretty light, actually. Uh, so there's Apple TV on the front. You can see the inputs on the back. We've got optical audio. We've got a uh, component. Our HDMI. Our network cable, our USB cable, I wonder what that's for, and our power cable. On the front, we have a um, IR receiver, and I believe this would be a a light. And uh, also comes with a uh, power cable. And it, no, what's this? What's this? I wonder what this is. Which is a private probably a manual. Apple likes to just hide their manuals. Some a Apple stickers, some uh, manuals, and just another more manuals. Sort of uh, set up. So guys, all right. Well, that's just great. And most of you will probably see what the remote looks like. So I guess um, last thing that might be worth doing is you know just take this out of the take this out of the plastic just for right now because. While we're at it, I guess we might as well just take it out of the plastic because you know, 
So it's basically looks a lot like a new one of the new airports. It's uh you know kind of nice and uh, smooth on the top, kind of kind of rubbery on the bottom, and uh, it's good good stuff. Anyways, so this is the Apple TV from Apple Computer, and uh, this is what. Oh, and in case you're wondering what this machine does. It allows you to watch any content that you can play in iTunes, stream it over your network, and sync it up just like an iPod, and uh, play it on your net on your um, TV. I should actually point out this thing actually does have a, have a uh, 40 gig hard drive on the inside, so you can sync it and have it, um, have it already loaded. Anyways, this is sort of like a LithCast.com non-Nintendo related special feature thing, so I would just leave it at this, and I hope you guys will tune in for the next LithCast episode. Uh, thank you very much.